Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tom Lemons. And I'm Rebecca White. And this is Eye of the Storm. Our first story of the night. International tensions are an all-time high after the Prime Minister of Margaritaville did the limbo the super duper fastest anyone has like ever seen. What in the name of everything holy is happening right now? What the f was he reading? I, I I don't know. We gave him the script. I guess they changed it in the prompt. Oh, what a surprise! You don't know. What, what do you want me to do? Figure it, it out. That's I what don't I want know what to do. do right now. Prompter, can we please change that, please? Oh my goodness. Oh, please don't hit me. Sometimes, when I am all alone, I sit on my hand until it goes completely numb. And Who cares? Oh, Who geez. cares? Oh, Lord. Oh, no, no, Oh, my no. gosh. Just, can someone just figure this out? I don't... I, I'm trying. Prompter, please. Fix You're this. sitting there. You ain't trying. No, come on. Prompter, please, please. In other news, a new study has been conducted by the Center for Disease Control that has led to serious progress in the cure for cancer. Well, that's... That's... Plus. Okay. The director of the Center for Disease Control has shared the following statement. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Those other brothers can't deny. That's it? Don't hit me! I'm going back to CW! And live from Studio 422, it's Friday, Friday afternoon! afternoon. Hold the applause, hold the applause. I'm kidding, no one in the studio is copying right now. Welcome to Friday Afternoon Live. I'm your host, Ashley Prasad. Thank you, thank you. But for being completely honest, I don't really know what I'm doing right here, right now. See, when the host gig for today's episode came into play, it didn't even cross my mind that I would put myself up for the part. And then I got to some thinking. And in two months, when graduation hits, I'll never be able to call myself a current member of WRADT again. I've done a lot with this club over the years, got to work with some of the greatest people, dealt with some of the worst, <clears throat> Tom Walsh, ran a banquet, became president, and then did what every great leader eventually does, quits. All right, I might have promoted myself to TV Club Hobo for the past few months, but the semester and a half I was in office full time, I can proudly say I ran this ship better than the majority of the people in power of today's free world. But no matter what position I hold here at WRD TV, it is truly almost my fin final curtain call. Luckily, this club doesn't function like my sorority, so the people I've worked with aren't my sisters for life, and majority I'll never have to talk to ever again. I'm talking about you, Jordan Darmento. Thank you. Jesus. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. WRD TV has truly been a great part of my college experience, and I hope to see it grow as the years go on. But then again, as my girl Irish singer, songwriter, Enya once proclaimed, who can say where the road goes? But what do I know? I just, I'm just a hobo. We've got a great show for you this afternoon. We've got some great skits coming your way, plus a performance from our very own Delilah Hernandez. Don't go anywhere. All right, all right, class. Uh, turn to page 666 in your text. Okay? Your history sorry, text. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Oh, the traffic was such a you know, with that snowstorm and everything. It's all right, Sam. Just sit down and take your seat and continue. And I'll continue what I just started, okay? Sure thing, Professor all right, Hoare. Okay. So. Oh, Does anyone have a pencil I can borrow? Well, I have... I have Pen. No, thanks, B. Was, but, but my handwriting looks like chicken s. You know, I'll probably just s up a couple times. Hey, Courtney. Yeah, Chuck? Can you loan me one of your pencils? I'd be so grateful. Oh, you can s borrow mine. Thanks. No problem. Are we still good for s tomorrow? Oh, I can Why not, class? I want you to pay close attention to all of this because it's going to be on your final exam next week. Okay? Um. What is it, Sam? I forgot my textbook at my home. Oh, no, it's okay. I have my textbook. I could give you the notes after. Thank you so much, Beavis. You're the Anytime. <laughs> All right, everybody. Everybody. Um, I need you to pay close attention, okay? Uh, to, to this part in particular. This will be all on the... Final exam next week, okay? All right. Uh, in f***ing okay, the f Italian 
sale to the Okay, that you know. But what you don't know is that he is nothing but a You see? Uh, the, the of a to begin with, he wasn't the for us. And um, he really was a very saddened old man. Let, allow me to explain. This Psst, Sam. Yeah, what's up? How was it last night? It was Oh, you mean the drive? Yeah, the drive. And, uh, oh, it was great. You should have come. I wish I had. I took my Rachel to the fair. That's so How is Rachel? She's she got a internship and I heard they were great to for. Yeah, I know. She loves it there. Tell her I say good luck. Certainly I will. Oh, okay. And that is why despite having little to no especially in regard to the tragic fate and that was really indeed a very tragic fate for the if you ever have the opportunity to check it out and take it off your bucket list by all means do it it's a place uh, it's uh, it's not what history makes him out to be it's as simple as that Yes. So does that mean never or even that it was a place? Like really? the dean, did he did he not it or it? Well, that is a good question. I'm surprised it comes from you. Um, the uh, the correct answer, Beavis, is that everything we have ever been taught about is complete. Hmm. Now, any more questions? Professor Hoare? Oh, yes. Can we be let out early? Uh, no, it's, uh, what we're covering here is important. Now we have the final exam next week. Oh, uh, Professor Hoare! Okay, it is Friday, so you may leave. Class yes! Class. Yes! 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 Okay. Hey, guys, guys, do you ever wonder what it would be like if we were to be unnecessarily censored over. Could you imagine what would it be like if everything was put out of context and how some information would be lost, leaving us all greatly confused? That's weird that you would bring that up. Um, why would you even? I don't know, it was just a thought. <laughs> well, you know, classic Chuck. <laughs> Get the f out of here! Good afternoon and welcome to PolitiFest, where the greatest intellectual minds of our time debate on a variety of political issues. I'm your moderator, Zach Mahabir, and today our guests will be giving their takes on the state of America at this point in time. Our first debater is a commentator from the Young Turks, cares none about your feelings as well as what comes out of her mouth. Please welcome Anna Kasparian. Thank you, Zach, for that introduction. I'm thankful for debates like this one because we live in a very divided time. It's obvious we can't agree on much, but if there's one thing that goes without question, it's that I'm better than you. <laughs> Ray Sunshine, to my right right here. Anyway, joining me on my left is the host and director of InfoWars and is considered to by many to be a meme come to life, Mr. Gay Frogs himself, Alex Jones. Yeah! And for wars, yes, the war for your mind is coming to you. Yes! All right. You really high right now. Like, you, you all the way up here. I'm gonna need you, like, I'm, I'm being a real dog. Like, you need to stop. All right. You need to calm down. Okay. I apologize. I, no, you don't. I apologize to my family audience. I was not born with an inside voice. <sighs> Jesus, forgive me. I'll do my best. <laughs> Go to hell. That's funny. On that, all right, we really, we, we are on 12 right now. Really, gear, gear's all in motion. We're going to start this debate off while I talk about the state of the country, Anna. Would, would you say that President Trump 
has been an effective leader? Well, no, I don't. And I think that anyone who supports him should have been aborted before they got the chance to vote for him. Wow, wow, oh my god, Anna, that's it's very, it's pretty, that's mean. Um, I honestly know for sure that I'm not a bad person for saying that. Anna, you're literally wishing that millions of our viewers were dead. You know what, you know what? That's exactly what the Young Turks want you, want you to think because they're named after a disciple group that wishes death upon these people, especially the Armenian Genocide. Repent now! You know Repent now! Repent Armenian. now! My Repent now! Okay. Repent I'm not now. fact shaming when I say this, but get off the stage, you fat You f are a fat shamer. You support it. You are supporting it. You are supporting it. You are committed to Satan. You know you are a coward. You know all the rest of those turks are cowards. You know what? they are right stop. now. Stop. You stop. Stop. Guys, right guys, 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 guys. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Ah! Stop! You piece of garbage. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. It's supposed to be intelligent. An intelligent debate. Intelligent. Uh, intelligent know. and They're respectful debate. All the time. It's not a. It, it's I... not a cage match. Enough! Stop! All right. Stop it! Okay. I'm sorry. I just felt really powerful in that moment. Yeah, out of breath. Boy, boy's tired. The boy is tired. Anyway, let's go on to our next Excuse talking me. point. Excuse me. Here we go. Okay. okay. Yeah, and you're excused, I'm baby. Okay. okay, great. Anyway, next to our next talking point. Um, another point of stark contrast and in the whole political spectrum is the bias in the media coverage, particularly when it comes to POTUS himself and Donald Trump. Now, Alex, my boy Alex, uh, many people view you as an altar boy for Donald Trump and his cause. Is that accurate? Would you say that's accurate? Um, as a matter of fact, sir, no, not at all. Um, the InfoWars is actually a beacon for fighting against all the globalists and that new world order. Now, that being said, if I ever drank any of the chemicals that were in the water, I would be ready for this. They're turning the freaking frogs gay. I would be a gay frog. We don't need that right now. I like to eat them, not be gay for them. Wow, okay. That's really, that's a whole, that's a whole lot. You got anything else in the tank there? That that seems pretty. I just. Wow. I'm sorry. I wow. Just don't okay. Know. And you, you don't need to. We're. I think we're all good on that. You don't need to finish I anything let the else. Do what they need to a the Alex. And Alex. Alex. Unconventional with his answers as always. Is he? Oh it boy. Boy, howdy. Am I right? You've been very outspoken. You. You've been outspoken. Uh, a, a opponent of this president since he started running. Um, his campaign which has caused many people to believe that you're way too biased to say something positive about this president when it's warranted. Now, Anna, you know, Alex has been the way he is. We, yes. I, I, I think you've been a bit negative yourself. The government's made me this way. What? You, okay. Fam, you do. All right. Anna, could you possibly say anything positive about this president? Of course not. Or, 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 let, let's paint a picture here. Let's think about it. a really, really crazy picture, right? Let's just think. Let's just think Did a bit. Here. Imagine we've diplomatically convinced North Korea to denuclearize itself, thanks to you know negotiations, buyouts, a couple golf trips by my boy Trump, Trump Daddy D, right? Now, say something nice about him and his efforts. Let's say Trump really put it all together. Oh. Okay. Oh, I I can't. I can, I hate that man. I hate everyone who voted for him. I think they should be rounded up and put into camps. Okay? And to anyone who thinks what I'm saying <coughs> is wrong, I think you're dumb. Yeah, I think you're effing dumb. Okay? I want a different question. We're under attack. We're oh, under attack. God. The satanic new world order. The social engineers. Ah! You ah, can't reason with we these We know people. we're under attack. You can't we reason know with these people. I'm a pioneer. Stop! I'm hungry. Stop! I need, Stop! He he's a I need to fight. I need to f I knew this debate would not get finished properly. Hey, security. Get these. Let these. 
freaking lab accents out of here. I'm done. No. Oh, I've had no. enough. I'm not being <laughs> Wow, what a great show so far. Coming up, we have a performance by Delilah Hernandez and some FBI agents up deck. Be sure to stay tuned after this short commercial break. Oh no. What? Something going on? Yeah, this this kid Luke is cheating on his girlfriend and she just walked in the door. I didn't what? think that there was an actual threat. Yeah, it's a threat to Luke when she catches him. I mean, oh shit, she just walked in. Oh damn, she's mad. <laughs> she's going off. She just threw the other girl's clothes out the window. Really? Yeah. Let me see. Dude, she threw the coffee she bought at him. Ooh, and there goes his phone. Harsh. Look at this though. This girl's in her kitchen. Seeing how many chicken nuggets she can fit in her mouth at once. Go, girl. It's like 15. It's impressive. Yeah. I hate when boring investigations like this come up. I mean, I really don't see a threat in this woman's book club meetings. Why do I have to bother monitoring them? It's part of the job. Yeah. Wait, I think you just saw some of them exchange money. It's probably nothing. No, no, no. That, that woman totally just handed another woman a paper bag. I'm zooming in. Call me crazy. I think that mm. woman is wearing a disguise. Let me see. Yeah. That's the guy that just added to the watch list, what? in a wig! Look! And the two of them with him, they look oh, like no Hans way. too! Yes it is, you're right! Really? No way, oh, oh my, my god! god. It, it, oh my god, it totally is him! He's getting into a wait, oh, he's getting into a fight oh. with one of the women. Oh, she's not backing down. Oh, right in the crotch. Ooh. Ooh. Joe, come here, you gotta see this. Wait, somebody's opening the door. Is that... Oh my god, that's Tupac! No way! I heard some of the other officers say they've seen him, but the agency said it wasn't true. Is no one seeing this right now? Wait a minute. And he's just hiding with the women. That's, <gasps> that's Tupac. It's actually him. Really? No one? Oh, shit. And the ladies are winning. Go, Tupac Secret Alliance. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, that lady's stealing the paper bags. Oh, God. She's on the run. Tupac. Can't believe it. Oh, my God. Tupac just threw something that exploded into the other room. I knew it. I knew they were lying to us. Okay, we need to call this in. Yeah, yeah, we do. Hey, uh, yeah, there's there's something, some kind of conflict going on. It's uh, Oak Drive in L.A. Yeah, yeah, get there as soon as possible, please. Okay, thank you. Bye. Uh, it looks like they're taking the cons hostage and tying them to chairs? Yeah, and Tupac oh. is getting out of there fast. Goodbye again, old friend. Wow. Oh, are they setting the house on fire? Oh, and they're going outside. Okay, yeah, they're, they're in the backyard now, Ooh. I think. What are they throwing? In the, in the, from the bags? Money? Oh, they're throwing money in the air. <laughs> well, duh, they're having a money party. Rude not to invite Tupac, am I right? I mean, what, 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 what should we do? I mean, no one's here yet. Call the fire department, I guess? Well, we could try... Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, that puppy's playing with a stuffed unicorn. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God, he's so cute. Don't want to feel you, don't want you on my mind, don't want to feel you, don't want you on my mind, on my mind, on my mind, 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 mind. Why on earth would I leave if you were everything I wanted you to be? When I saw what you did, who you were. Got me questioning the things that I believe. So I ask myself, do I let you go or do I keep you in the frame of my mind? Now I'm growing wise to your sugar-coated lies. Nothing sweet about my misery, yeah. I finally found and what went wrong. I finally found the wrong in you. I finally found what went wrong. 
I finally found the wrong in you. You again, why'd you call? I don't need to hear you crying out my name. Unlike before, when you and I laid eye to eye, now it's time for you to taste a bitter end. So I ask myself, do I let you go or do I keep you in the frame of my mind? Now I'm growing wise to your sugar-coated lies. Nothing sweet about my misery, yeah. I finally found what went wrong. I finally found the wrong in you. I finally found what went wrong. I finally found the wrong in you. Don't want to feel you. Don't want you on my mind. Don't want to feel you. Don't want you on my mind. On my mind. On my mind. 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 Well, that's a wrap, and I can finally say once and for all, I'm quitting TV Club. Just kidding. You'll see me on our WRD TV senior show this coming April, where we'll all reminisce on how I almost murdered Frank Rappa. Next week, WRD TV is taking a short break, but we'll be back in two weeks with The Last Eye of the Storm, followed by Johnny Feud, hosted by our very own Michael Outlaw. Hopefully he doesn't mess it up like Ferrari did last fall. We don't need a Steve Harvey 3.0 special. Thanks to our performers, actors, and creative team for making this FAL so special. Until next time, I'm Ashley Prasad. Have a great afternoon. Woo!